In this video, we will go over some of the complex problems of rational expressions when we do addition and subtractions using a common denominator. Let's say we have 3x squared minus 7x over 4x squared minus 8x plus x over 4x squared minus 8x. As you can see, we have a common denominator. We will write that first. 4x squared minus 8x before we do any factoring and the numerator is 3x squared minus 7x plus x. Now we will factor only the numerator first. We can take the x out. We have 3x minus 7 plus 1 remaining over here. All this over 4x times x minus 2. As you can see, this x and this x simply cancels out. In this video, we will go over some of the complex problems of rational expressions using the subtraction and addition method. Let's say we have 3x squared minus 7x over 4x squared minus 8x plus x over 4x squared minus 8x. Before we do any factoring, we need to make sure that we write only the common denominator first, which is 4x minus 8x. In the numerator, we have 3x squared minus 7x plus x. And now we can simplify it. We have 3x squared minus 7x plus x, that is negative 6x over we will take 4x as common, inside we will have x minus 2 and the next step will be we can take 3x as common, inside will be x minus 2 over 4x times x minus 2. As you can see, these two are same, x and x gets cancelled and the answer will be 3 over 4. Let's take a look at one different example. We have x square minus 13 over x plus 4 minus 3 over x plus 4. So again, we will do the same thing. We will take a common denominator which is given to us x plus 4 and the numerator is x square minus 13 minus 3. So over here in the numerator we get negative 13 minus 3 that's negative 16 over x plus 4 and this is a perfect square so we get x plus 4 times x minus 4 over x plus 4 these two gets cancelled and we are left with x minus 4 remember there will be some problems without a common denominator and we have to find the least common denominator first which is called LCD so but before that we have to make sure that we practice enough with these problems okay so let's say we have one last problem x square plus 6x over x plus 9 times x plus 5 we have minus sign 27 and the same denominator x plus 9 x plus 5 don't worry about so many different variables in the denominator you will see how they get cancelled out later on so we will write only the denominator first we don't need to simplify them and we will write the numerators only x squared plus 6x minus 27 over here we need two numbers that their product should be negative 27 and the sum should be 6 such as 9 times 3 should be 27 9 minus 3 is 6 as you can clearly see 3 is a negative sign so our factors will be x plus 9 times x minus 3 all this over x plus 9 times x plus 5 remember I told you we will factor this later on and it will cancels out so x plus 9 x plus 9 cancels out and our final answer is x minus 3 over x plus 5 
in the tomorrow's videos we will learn how to find a common denominator where the denominator will be different so make sure to subscribe for that and i will see you tomorrow